Every day for the last four years, I've been using and testing macOS operating systems and sometimes you do get a good update, but sometimes you get otherwise. So hopefully this video that I'm making here today can be somewhat of a guide for you when it comes to whether you should be looking into updating your Mac to the latest macOS 13, also known as macOS Ventura. Now, the video that you are seeing here is actually being recorded on this iPhone you see placed on the Mac. You can see when I cover the camera, it actually, you know, covers my video feed and this is FaceTime. So it's being used as a webcam and it's one of the new features that I hear. I'll be getting into those pretty soon. But first things first, let's see when this update is going to be coming out. Apple did tell us something and if we go to the official Apple website and go to the macOS subsection and then go to macOS section here again, you can see that they told us that this update is going to be available on October 24th. And unfortunately, I do have some bad news for you when it comes to the supported devices because this is something that you need to be aware of if you are thinking of upgrading your Mac. So with macOS Ventura or macOS 13, a number of devices have actually been dropped. So you can see for the, for example, for the MacBook Air, you need a 2018 and later. For the MacBook Pro, you need a 2017 and later and you can see the other associated devices before it used to be 2015 and 16 but you can see this has dropped somewhat two or three years generation of Mac so it's unfortunate but that's just something that I should point out now the way you are going to be updating when this update comes out you go into your new system settings go to general and then go to software update I know it's pretty similar to iOS and iPadOS, but Apple is trying to keep that uniformity when it comes to most of their operating systems. Now, sometimes the update size can be quite substantial and large. So do connect to a high speed Wi-Fi and make sure that you have enough storage, of course. And then after that, this will be able to show up as an update for you on Monday if you have a supported device. Now, whether you should be updating or not, I would say if you are a developer, you really don't have much of a choice whether you develop with Xcode or with other systems, then you most probably will be on Mac OS 13 already since you need to test some of your new features and changes that are here with Mac OS 13 or Ventura. So when this update comes out officially, then those that use your services won't have any issues. But for the rest of us that are just regular users, are there any biggest new features or changes that are here that are worth updating for? So the first one I want to show you when it comes to this is actually a feature that you saw at the start of this video. So you can see if I open up FaceTime like this, you can see that here it has reverted to my inbuilt mic or inbuilt camera for the Mac but the moment I bring my iPhone and place it there and when I click where it says video boom it switches there is a two second delay but this is what is called continuity camera and this feature allows you to be able to use your iPhone starting from the iPhone XR so it allows you to use your iPhone as a webcam for your for your FaceTime and you can see how it looks. The video is crystal clear. You can see that, you know, it's it ups the game when it comes to the FaceTime video quality. And this is something that is amazing in my opinion. And not only that, but you also get continuity camera. So if I receive a call on my Mac and I want to transfer it to my iPhone and not cut the FaceTime call, this is something that is supported. So the way you can set it up, you can go into your system preferences and then go to general and go to where it says airdrop and handoff and make sure that this is turned on. Also on your iPhone, you need to search for handoff and make sure that that option is, is enabled. And then you'll be able to transfer your call or switch your call from your Mac to your iPad. 
that is something that's good but obviously it does not end there i'll just put the iphone there and you can see here we do have another new major feature that comes to mac os so for example we'll open up chrome here and when i click this control center here you can see we have a subsection that says stage manager and when you enable stage manager you see that it's enabled and if i open any of the other minimized applications boom you notice that chrome goes to the side and if i was to open up for example safari boom you see the size previous size window comes back as it was and you can always resize it but if i want to switch from chrome to safari or otherwise you can see as long as i have some space on the left section of my screen i can be able to switch over between pages and this in my opinion is something that's good especially if you're doing a presentation and you don't want to be disruptive this is, this is something iPhone. that's good and you can see even if a video is playing in the background for example on chrome and then you go into a subsection you can see the video continues to play with no issues so that is stage manager it is here on ipad os as well so on ipad os it's not working as smooth as on mac but this is also in my opinion one of those other big new changes now if we go into system preferences and go to where it says general and go to the software update page and you click to where it says the information i here you'll be able to see that on this section you have the option to check for updates and you don't have to install the updates but you have the option to actually install just the security responses and system files this is a change if you are a person who's happy with your current mac os operating system and you don't want to jump to something that you think could be buggy mac os 13 or mac os ventura gives you the option to just install security responses and system files and if you want to download and install updates for applications from the app store you can enable this of course you do have to enable this option that says check for updates because if you turn it off you can see that the security settings cannot be turned off while that is on but you can still install updates in the background from the app store so this is something in my opinion that's game changing and i keep it off since i do mac os beta testing now also when it comes to this update they you do have the ability to be able to send and delete messages so for example if i send a message that says test you see that message has been test and if i right double click or right click on it right here you can see i have the option to edit this message so test one and then i'll click enter and boom you can see it's an edited message right here and if i don't like the way it looks i can actually edit it further so i can test say test two like this and boom it's edited further and when you click here you can see the test history that has been done and let's say for example i don't want like the way it has been sent or i, I regret sending this i can right click and then i'll undo send boom the message disappears so that is also a new feature that is here with mac os 13 or mac os ventura and in my opinion it's one great new feature and change so this one too has updates when it comes to the different browsers like for example safari the version is safari 16.1 and we, if you go to the about section you can see 16.1 is the version and the build number that you have where they try to figure out and sort out some of the issues that might be there with safari since with the previous two updates there were major issues especially coming from mac os big Sur and going from big Sur to monterey those were like the most unstable updates that i've tested and this update seems to be a step ahead in terms of stability so that's in my opinion just what i've been experienced during my testing with mac os ventura now the best thing to always do when it comes to a new operating system is to have a wait and see attitude of course there's always going to be new features and new changes that are enticing but if you really rely on your mac every day and you want to avoid most of the bugs and issues that come out as a first generation or on a first generation update just 
adopt and have the wait and see attitude apple might release mac OS 12.0 or 12.0.1 officially on monday but after a few months or if just a few weeks even they might release a secondary update which is more stable and with less issues and bugs and in my opinion that is the update to go for so just hold on if you don't need most of these new fancy features that you see here and if you rely on your mac or if you definitely do want to have that wait and see attitude that is the best thing and the best advice i can give you so that's about it for me let me know what you think about this video are you going to be updating to mac os 13 ventura or are you going to wait and see or are you going to be switching to windows or another operating system so stay safe guys and i will see you in the next video peace